Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to GSL English. My name is Gideon, and I'm here, as always, to help you speak real, natural, and fluent English. And today, we are going to do that by practicing our speaking skills as we have another conversation together. Today's conversation is going to take place between an employer and an employee as they conduct a performance review. So what is a performance review? Well, a performance review is very common when working for a company. Basically, an employer will review the employee's performance over a certain period of time or at the end of a certain project. And they will discuss what they did well but also look at some areas that perhaps the employee could improve in. So as always, this lesson will be separated into three parts. Firstly, you will listen to me be both the employer and the employee as I have the conversation with myself. Secondly, I will be the employer and you will be the employee and we will have the conversation together. Thirdly, we will swap parts. You will then be the employer, I will be the employee, and once again, we will have that conversation together. So, as always, with these exercises, I encourage you to find somewhere comfortable, perhaps find somewhere quiet, but find somewhere that you are more than happy to speak out loud. Because if we want to get the most from practicing this conversation together, we want to speak out loud. So really go for it. Don't be nervous. Don't be worried. Just relax and enjoy practicing your English with me. And as a reminder, if you need to, you can slow this video down just to get used to the exercise. Practice that a couple of times. Then as you feel more comfortable and confident, you can speed the video up until you are at normal speed. But just relax and enjoy it. So let's get straight into it. You are now going to listen to me conduct the performance review with myself. Thanks so much for coming in today. So let's jump right into your performance review. Overall, I've been very impressed with your work this year. Your contributions to the Alpha project were critical to its success. Thank you. I really appreciated working on that project. And you showed great initiative in taking on the role of manager. That saved us a lot of time and hassle. I'm glad it helped. I knew the regular process wasn't working efficiently, so I tried a different approach. Exactly. That kind of problem solving is what we need. Now, there are a few areas where I think you could improve. We discussed your occasional deadline issues last quarter. How do you feel you've progressed with that? Honestly, I still struggle sometimes. My time management can be a bit optimistic, but I've been using a planner and setting time limits for myself, which seems to be helping. Perhaps we can set up a system of check-ins for larger projects. That way, we can identify any potential slippages early on and find solutions together. That sounds like a great idea. I could definitely benefit from some guidance on scheduling. Absolutely. Speaking of guidance, where are you interested in developing further? Is there anything you'd like to learn or focus on in the coming year? I'm really interested in digital marketing and I've been thinking about taking that online course on data analysis. Excellent. Let's explore some funding options for that course. Your development is important to us and we want to support your growth. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support and feedback. I'm excited to keep learning and growing with this company. I have no doubt you will. You are such a valuable asset to the team and I'm looking forward to seeing your continued success. Okay, so that is the performance review. That is the conversation that we are going to have together. Now, if you need to, listen to it again and Focus, of course, on pronunciation, but as always, the modulation in my voice. That is me speaking faster and then slower. My volume going up and then down, because that is what helps us to speak in a natural 
and fluent way. Okay, if you are ready, let's now start section two of this class. I am going to be the boss or the employer and you are going to be the employee. So when the video pauses, it is your turn to speak. All you need to do is read what is on the page in the most natural and fluent way that you can. Thanks so much for coming in today. So let's jump right into your performance review. Overall, I've been very impressed with your work this year. Your contributions to the Alpha project were critical to its success. And you showed great initiative in taking on the role of manager. That saved us a lot of time and hassle. Exactly. That kind of problem solving is what we need. Now, there are a few areas where I think you could improve. We discussed your occasional deadline issues last quarter. How do you feel you've progressed with that? Perhaps we can set up a system of check-ins for larger projects. That way we can identify any potential slippages early on and find solutions together. Absolutely. Speaking of guidance, where are you interested in developing further? Is there anything you'd like to learn or focus on in the coming year? Excellent. Let's explore some funding options for that course. Your development is important to us and we want to support your growth. I have no doubt you will. You are such a valuable asset to the team and I'm looking forward to seeing your continued success. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant job. If you need to do that again, go for it. Just relax and enjoy this class together. So now let's move on to the last part of this class. You are now going to be the boss or employer. I am going to be the employee. So it's going to be you conducting this review. Let's go for it. Thank you. I really appreciated working on that project. I'm glad it helped. I knew the regular process wasn't working efficiently, so I tried a different approach. Honestly, I still struggle sometimes. My time management can be a bit optimistic, but I've been using a planner and setting time limits for myself, which seems to be helping. That sounds like a great idea. I could definitely benefit from some guidance on scheduling. I'm really interested in digital marketing and I've been thinking about taking that online course on data analysis. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support and feedback. 
I'm excited to keep learning and growing with this company. And there you go. That is the end of that conversation practice. I hope you enjoyed it. As a reminder, don't just practice this exercise once and then that's it. Maybe you could set this as a goal of practicing this multiple times throughout the week because the more you get used to it, the easier it gets. The more your mouth gets used to speaking out loud in English. And if you've been following my classes for a while, you will know that that is what I preach. You need to get speaking out loud. It's not just about the skill of speaking. It is about the physical muscle memory, the way your muscles and your mouth move when you speak English. We need to get used to that. So practice this exercise whenever you can. Speak out loud wherever you can. Focus on pronunciation, intonation and also modulation. So what would you like me to talk about in the next conversation class? Let me know in the comments or if you just want to say anything at all, even if it's just a little hello, feel free. I will always respond. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to take your English to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this class today. Have a good one, guys.